Today is Kafe Batavis, Tashin Sonic Test for an Ahmed Yud base of uh, Sonic Test. So I'd just like to make it clear that we used to make it on the emails and everything a um, um, condition, but for some reason we dropped it over the last year or two. Is that everybody should have medical insurance. Uh, everybody should try to make sure that they buy medical insurance, one way or another. Because I mean, all these guys crack into the room and they claim that this and that, and, then, and there's nobody to send them to. All the people that I spoke to this afternoon, not one of them had medical insurance. So what am I going to do with them? Make it a field hospital here or something? What am I supposed to do? And let's say Chodila, a man should walk down the stairs and slip. And you remember the time it was at Yechia uh, that hurt himself that time? One of the guys was here on a visit. You remember he walked past? Oh, no, it was before your time. Anyway, somebody hurt his leg very badly once. So he fell, slipped. And he was in the hospital for several days and they charged him a huge amount of money. It's just immense. <laughs> It's, uh, so it's really good that guys have the medical insurance. Okay, good. <coughs> so we got down to <coughs> the Siyum at the Indian Benegar to Nikudas Atamtis. And we saw that despite the fact <coughs> that it was a little Bechina Salio, Bechina Sahafshota, and uh, all those uh, milers that we saw, however, since it was connected, with the Yekiyas Odom in the Indian Asoga, then Sokosov, it still comes from and is a Tetsua, like a result, and a Shlemus in the Indian of Asoga. It's just that it's, it's not the Indian of Asoga, it's born in us, uh, in the, in the straight and normal, what you might call straightforward fashion. And therefore we saw that it's only a bit like yes, Bill, Bilvad, despite all the all the milers that we saw in the Nakuda Satantis, both when it get to the um, being, as it were, beyond uh, the Indian of Asoga, it was in a gather almost of a mile of Asoga, and in the Oya, in the Oya, and the tremendous effect that it has on the on the Odom in the form of uh, light, and, and Oya, which is Meya Benafshe. Uh, at the moment of the uh, Nakuda Satant. And then we saw that there was a, a, a remus or a statement on the part of the river that there could be a whole Avedo which would be based on the type of Asoga reached through the Nakuda Satant. And we didn't really deal with that sentence last night. Uh, and she calls And we saw that um, comes there. Yeah, Amnon begins bitlo amiti because he's part of the tzaddik alamei. Yeah, where was that sentence? Yeah. Oh yeah. For the sake of scambo avide, we begin to madrega zu. Hagam shuhu yisa we begin to debakes for actors. Mikimoye bo aveda hanal shalidei asogar is born as that was only in the in the previous page. Mikom mochim haris a gam kein rak bitul hayesh levad da'inu rak ye bitul yeshusay v'leiv b'chinas amitis aisachtas ye de gam be madregesu ye aiku hu a da'in b'chinas bitul yeshusay. And then we saw that we summed it up by saying it all came through koyach atzme. So that implies that there's a, 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 an avoido. He said that the Indian gamba avoido begins from a dregazu, a gam that it's a, a, a bitl nailer, but it's also soft or soft bitl hayesh. So that would tend to imply that there's an avoido in the Indian of even that would seem that this is just a, 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 a point or a technique almost in the Indian of Asoga. So that would imply that the Oiv de Hashem, and they've learned, Pneum is a third of Oivim Kozer, they spend time on the Indian of Asoga, and his bondiness, that they're able to reach a, 
uh, what you might call a matzah benafshom, where they're misasik in scholars and asogis in that way. In other words, that when they're masik asoga, they go into a higher and more lifted state where they actually see the whole profundity of the asoga in one in one intense uh, gilu of prof- profound uh, uh, synopsis. Uh, which lights up their whole understanding in the matter and lights up their whole, or even our Veda, in elevating it to a more delicate and uh, able bittle than just the stunned uh, outcome of normal Asoka Vibhana. And that implies that, that there are different types of Masigim, different types of Anashim that are able to, uh, through usage of the Muscolas, and as Mavurin says it's in many places, that once the brain becomes used to a certain type of a soga <coughs> and becomes <coughs> well used in certain ways of understanding, then the clay hamoya are literally elevated and idled, that they're able to deal with a in different ways than what you might call the normal masig is masig. In other words, that they go after they've been <coughs> masig dinian into a higher, more delicate, and more illuminated way of seeing the whole Inya. And that's a Hamas Baal Seiko, and Hamas Baal Soge, he can come into a Gura Haya Madrege, where he, Malachatkhila, goes into that type of Nakuda without the Gansa Ariga. He doesn't even need the whole Ariga, he's just so practiced in the Inya Soge, but Skola, the killer right from the beginning, he's got the whole profundity in one Mach, and he kill, uh, goes very early in the piece into this tremendous uh, synoptical light in the matter. And that's how he approaches all the Dinyari. So the, the, that's what we suggest. It's in the dead here, where the Rabbi said there's an Aveda. Yeah, it's a, a form of Aveda in its own that a person's able to see and experience Alakus in a very lyptic and synoptical and essential <coughs> way. And he doesn't need so much all the protim only to help him reach that type of understanding. For Ilo, other people, they need the Etzema understanding, the Etzema Soge, otherwise they're completely you're know, not in the realm of Veda Sashemba in Beklau. A day, a lot of practice, yeah, even in the realm of Asoga, they become more practiced, but they're still in need of like Jolium and illustrations <coughs> and other Inyonim. And then they come to a highest in the matter through those Inyonim. And that's what we call Lavushe Hasoge. Or somebody that's able to go beyond the Lavushe Hasoge, then he can become uh, 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 accustomed to serving Hashem in that way. He hears all the Inyanim, I'm a Vuarim. He takes them uh, almost in an a, a, a elevated and automatic way into a higher uh, uh, light and a higher experience within himself. And therefore, because that's an avoider, that's a way of certain per- people having practiced the uh, whole clay asoga in that way that they're able to serve the Amamish that way. And there's different stories about different sitting, uh, different grace of Bali asogas and Bali madregas that one can see that right from the beginning they were in it in a different game. You know, their whole way of approaching it was right from the beginning into a higher form. Uh, they'd already been through the whole, uh, instead of once, um, I once heard from one of the old Mashpima, there was a big chosid, he was in the time of the, uh, the, um, uh, the Mitzler Rebbe. And then there was another one who was a similar name, I think he was a bit later, maybe in the time of the Tzom And then even in the, he lived, or it was maybe one of his uh, relatives that was uh, Marek Yomim into the time of the uh, Rebbe Rasha when they first found the Tom Chetmim. And he was called Rabbi Remchir Zembena, or Zembena. He was from a town called Zeben, or Zemba. And he was called uh, Remchir Zembena, or Zebena, that's what they called him. And he was a, a very famous Masig, and so a big, uh, a big um, scholar in Siddhas. And he was a big Oivad in, um, in his younger years, he was a big Oivad in Oivad of Satfila. He was dumb belong with uh, the High Madragas. In his latter years, uh, the, the Chsidim and the Bachrim particularly noticed that uh, you know, he didn't use to down so, he didn't down so long anyway, so sort of down a bit more, <laughs> sort of shy to the meaning, and they didn't see the big gilu that they'd seen, uh, that they'd seen one. 
uh, you know, they used to complain a bit. Why doesn't he? Why doesn't he know? Like in the old days, why? You know, he was quite old already. So um, one of them went up to one of the big mashpiyim, one of the yungalayat or the bochim, and they said, you know, what's with the Avram Kijamba? Now, you know, he sort of uh, he sort of become a bit, you know, sort of ruined. You know, <laughs> he sort of he doesn't daven any long like he used to. We don't see the, the giruim. So uh, this big mashpiyim said, he said, oh, Avram Kijamba, is he talking about here? He said, he's already davened, you know, he's already davened, he's davening. <laughs> now, for him, he, he just, you know, he just clicks in and he's already in it, you know, he doesn't need to, he doesn't need to daven all. In other words, he said, he's already davened. <laughs> in other words, if you go a long, long, you know, pr- process, and, then the mind functions in such a way that you can be in the high madrigas without tremendous haritas. Uh, not necessarily Cholila uh, uh, suggesting that somebody like that would just come in, you know, quickly in order to be yaitze, chas or he would try to persuade himself that he was davening and he wasn't really, etc., etc. Et he meant to say that he's already davening, you shadow, that he's already got the schoira, and that he has already the inyanim, and with a, 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 a swiftness, or how do you call it, a skill, he can already be in it. Uh, so that's what... I would like to suggest that that's a big error, the type of Indian that's being put forward here. And therefore the, the Bali and the Kudus are people who are really very practiced uh, Masigim, but there is a form of Aveda. And with all of its amazing uh, achievement, it's only Bittlha. Because it comes from Mitzati Adam himself. It's not Aoya, which is Mayor of all might. Oh no, Bechinus Bittl Ho Amiti, however, the Emerson Bittl, genuine loss of the self altogether, who Kishim is Bato Mitzad Oyer Ho Elioin Shemaya Olo. In other words, it's that stuff here, Bittl, which comes Mitzad Elakus Atzme. Mitzad Amiti is a Kodispohu that the Avish to send him a Haora Milmaila. And that's mevatel him uh, mitzad the the uh, the mashpia himself. In other words, mitzad a kodesh pohu, he becomes botel. Or not mitzad his own yigia and his own effort. So henochanami that if he doesn't put in a lot of effort at the beginning, then he won't be zeichet to this. As mavui and tanya, that those that they come to emes ha'avad but ha'anugim, where he says that that's the highest uh, form of art that's also going to be mentioned here uh, shortly. In the Hemsha, uh, there has to be a tremendous amount of gear prior to that. Uh, and then he would be zeichet to the Indian of Ava Batanugim. Ava Kamavu, Ava Derentanya itself, and the altar of his Mazbi, that that really comes as a gift mill, no mind. That's really given to the Adam after he's been Mishyageya with the Shigir of Aveda that we saw here in the earlier, in the earlier piece. So, uh, it follows if he's there. That one leads up into the other. Uh, after there's been this tremendous effort in Bittl Hayesh, then he can be zeichet to literally a gilui milmaila, and if it comes milmaila, then that's coming directly from the Abishta. As in Cain, the Abishta's showing and being mayor upon him is Emerson Elkus, as if so then the mensch becomes, yeah, as it were, drawn in and completely mispatil and misachid, even though we saw in the previous Indian also a isaktus, but not a meteor's isaktus. And therefore he says, who mispatil mitadi yoer ho elio in shemeya olo, ukemoi, ho oimid lifnei hamel. Somebody who stands, mamish, in front of the king, shemeya olo, gilu yekar teferes gedu, lasei, or gedulas hamelech, shemispatil, with that expression, is well known, it's a quote from the Megillah, that's a lotion at the beginning of the Megillah, but again to Achashveresh, Arosha Bashasi made the, the huge uh, Suda for all the people in the whole kingdom of the Gansuas, it's written that then he appeared in front of everybody, with the, literally the honor and the splendor of the beauty or the wondrousness of his greatness. In other words, that a king has got, it takes several words to describe 
the, the majesty and greatness of a king when he's appearing in his essence in front of the uh, at the macabre. And therefore we keep seeing that expression occurs three or four times over there in the Megillah. Yekor Tiferes Gedu. Yes. What the word Yekor means like honor or glory. Tiferes. It means splendor or beauty. And Gedu means greatness. And so if we see that there's a, a Ishtadlis on the path of Losh and Kodesh to present me the greatness of a miller. You can't just say Godless of a miller. I have to say Yekor Tiferes Gedu. In other words, the effect... <coughs> of the personal appearance of the king in all of his COVID is so immense that it needs several words literally to, to describe it. And therefore he says that Maya on the Makabu, on the Oymid Lifnea Melech Yekor Teferes Gelase Shela Melech and then he's misbattled Be'etzim Mohusei Bukhidus Bitu Legamri when he stands in front of a king Mamich uh, then he becomes Potu and he doesn't have any of his own Mahus Watto because he becomes completely uh, mis- uh, drawn in and uh, misakhed uh, with the greatness of the Melech. But Yesh Bezer, says the Rebbe, two stages. But Yesh Bezer Habitl Shem is battle Bahali Chose El Melech on his way to, let's say, stand in front of the king. Let's say he's on his way to the palace, or he's already passing through the gateways of the palace, and he's already beginning to realize where he's headed for. So he's uh, he's missed battle. Then also, Kemoishima Gia a law. When he's going towards the king, yeah, then he's missed battle, but Etzema will say, like as if he were. Already uh, reaching the king. In other words, that he he's already picturing to himself what it's going to be, going to be like. However, he said, "Who brings bittel ha It's all uh, uh, just that his yes becomes uh, what more, as you might say, cancelled out as he gets nearer. <coughs> he said, "Who brings bittel ha yeshes levod kamayshkasu b'machim achem avu kishabu lifnei hamelah." Um miskala a law and there's miskala into him because I'm sorry. Um miskala the Melech reveals himself a law to him. That's the deal. Because Teferis Gedulos say once again the same expression with all those uh, adjectival expressions of his greatness. Hari whom his battle owes be etzema. We say at that moment. Yeah, the Bittle moves into a whole new... Up to now, it's also been a, an ongoing Bittle of himself, or only a Bittle of himself. And now he stands in front of the king, and the king appears to him. But then he just loses his Bittle, you know, Mikova, you know, call. It, um, and it's, it's fascinating that it only came out when I was in... Um, when I was in Tzfas. Uh, yeah, yesterday it came out to talk about... It, um, uh, uh, they asked me to tell them uh, some of my uh, about Yechidus and from the Rebbe, my early Yechidus and the Rebbe, the Rebbe. So I described to them what it was like standing in the last line before I actually went into the, to the room to, to, to greet the Rebbe personally in Yechidus. And um, before I knew what I was doing, I found myself <coughs> using this type of, of uh, munach. It's amazing. We just happen to be learning it now in the Weimar. But this type of conceptual language is exactly what I was, I was finding in my uh, mind, that this was the way to give them to understand it. And, and there's an old uh, sort of quip by the Hasidim there to say that when you know, a person started going to the river, then there was how he was when he was leaving his shtetl, you know, he was leaving his town. He started getting, oh, you yeah, know, we're going to the river, you know, and he's saying, the chayim with the chayim, and they're all going, they're going to the river. And as you gradually get nearer to the river's uh, city, and then you begin thinking, oh, wow, yeah, I'm, I'm really going to the river, you know. It's, it's, uh, the the, the uh, awe and the bittle and the, what you might call the excitement begins to, to grow. And then when you actually enter the, 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 you know, the city, and then you say, wait a minute, well, which street, you know, where, where, whereabouts is it, the river's, uh, you know, the river's uh, hole, hair, shul, hair, center, you know. That, and then when you actually get there, you know, your mum is already chittering and there's a whole tremendous feeling of excited, beetle, Mikovako. Or then when you actually see the river, you know, it's completely and utterly 
it will lose your eye against the Matthias. There's an old quip by that sitting describing, and that's got this picture. Uh, there's a, the, 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 the picture of this, uh, you know, a cart with a horse, and all the city was sitting in the back, you know, and they're on the way. You've seen that one. Uh, yeah, it's all around the place. Everybody's got coffees all around the place. Is um, yeah, that's uh, you know, like that's when they're leaving the steps, you know, they're still, uh, but the uh, young know, horse is rising up. It's on its way, you know. To, mm-hmm. That's all the indicatory, the bitle and the excitement and the going up into the air, you know. They're not just down, they're, they're going to the river. So that, uh, that, that when they get to the river city, you know, I go out, you know. And they, and they say, where? The, I remember. And the first time I went to the Ruby also, there were a few guys on the bus that came from the airport. We got a bus uh, from the airport to 770. And there was a few that had never been to, to the river before. So the guys are saying, which street is Eastern Parkway? When are we going to get to Eastern Parkway? And we're down, 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 all the guys are sort of saying, oh, this is what they run the thing, you know, Eastern Parkway. Oh, this is what Eastern Parkway, you know. We're 770, you know. <laughs> people are all, you know, <laughs> you've got to see seven. And then when you saw 770, everybody thought, just fell silent, you know, you see 770. So that's what the Rebbe means, that there's different madregas in Beetle on your way, yeah? You almost reach there, you feel as if you're reaching, but you have no idea what's really waiting for you. That's only just what you think. And then when you become Bato, you can become very Bato. Oh, that's only Beetle, huh? That's only Beetle, yeah. So when you come in the presence of the Rebbe shows himself to you, oh, that, then you know what it means. It was a bit, then you lose. So I was telling the guys that when when you were standing outside the Rebbe's door, you know, a couple of people before you knew you were going to go in, uh, then you begin to just completely, if you want a, a music, what it means, Beetle the uh, Matthias, you know, Beetle the Mahus. Well, that was the way to, to get a Amos idea was Beetle the Mahus. You just felt as if you weren't there anymore. You just felt as if your whole being was just some sort of a, a weird, you know, hell of a hester that, you know, you wish it just could be Emma's or iron and then your iron would just walk in through the door. You know? <laughs> then maybe it would be all right. <laughs> and then when he got in through the door, I, I took a look at the river. I mean, I remember the first time I got in, I just took to, and I was supposed to say Shekhiano, I was supposed to do a lot of things. I didn't do anything. Because I, I made a mistake. When you, you were told that when you first come into the door, you should kiss them as a and you should look only at the mezuzah, and then if you want to say Shachianu, or get yourself together, or tata, then you just look at the mezuzah and, uh, for a minute, and then you can go in and you know, go towards the rabbi. But if you look at the rabbi first, then uh, you know, your problems are likely to grow. So I made that mistake. I intended to look at the mezuzah, but I got into the door, and I looked right across at the rabbi, and I, 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 I just didn't know what I was doing for quite a few minutes. I just sort of stood there, you know, and then all of a sudden the rabbi put out his hand like that, as much as say, you know, was the turtle you can give me the turtle, you know. I, I, was just, I couldn't, I, I sort of lost my sense of what you're really supposed to do. You're supposed to walk forward away. I didn't realize what was going on. <laughs> I just, and uh, the rabbi sort of put out his hand like that, as I say, if you like to give me the turtle, I'll take it, you know. So I walked over and I put the turtle in his hand, you know. <laughs> The second time I went in, I already was clever. The second time I went, I looked only at the mezuzah. I, I looked and I kissed the mezuzah very powerfully with my hand. I looked at it and I said, Shechiyam. Then I said, Shechiyam. And the Rebbe said, Oh man, mum, it's like that. Mm. Whoosh, I got a shock. I thought the Rebbe said, Oh man, they, they smuttered something. Oh man. Oh, I said, oh man. <laughs> so, but I managed to hold myself together that time. I managed to get across to the table. <laughs> you say Shekhiyanu with the Mamash of Bracha? Oh, yeah. Sure. That's right. Give him a Malchus. And there's another Bracha. But the Chassidim didn't used to say that in the in Yechidus. He used to say that. Some of them said it the first time they saw the Rebbe. I said that when I saw the Rebbe the first time in 770. And I said, Boruch and uh, that's when you see a, a Rav Misro, that, uh, that's what you say. A Chokhm, a meeting Misro, and you say, Borosh Nosen, me Chokhm, I say, Li Yoreo. So, oh, big beer, oh, a reef is a husband. He said, oh, but he's saying that in your feet, it's nobody had to, nobody had to gumption to say that in front of the Rav. Oh, a Shechion, a Dosho. A Shechion, a Shechion, a lot of the Sidim said it. And the first time I went into Yechidas, I went in with a whole group of Yidna that come out from Russia, that year, of mental footer fast, of laser and all these big high lion 
Russians, you know, these big, you know, barley missiles, never from Russia, and they're all standing in this amazing line, and his little me is standing towards the end of the line. <laughs> the whole story how I got in with them, because it, uh, it was a special night for Yechid, it's only for them. They made special, some of them had never spoken with the Russians, I've never seen them. So it was a special night that they made only for them. And nonetheless, I got in. <laughs> so, all the story, but anyway, we, if I tell you all about that, then we won't learn. But, but anyway, it suffice it to say that uh, that's a, a dogma of what the Rebbe is saying here. That you, you know, you're on the way into the room, and you think you're already, and you are, you're in you know, a tremendous bittle. But he said that's only bittle, yes, when you actually get in and, you, and you're in front of the Rebbe, then you become bottle bimmer, and he is like So that's a bittle, but that's a BMS, or that comes from my little doesn't the of the the Now he brings another amazing marshal, and this marshal is much more barifas, and we're going to have to study it carefully. But here he moves from melech to subject, or, or you know, he called citizen melech to, to ordinary odom, and he moves now into the Indian of Rav and Tom here. that this is a rather Interesting formula that we're going to have now in this whole piece. But uh, again, to how a chassid should really be when he listens to a mimer from his rab. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing uh, statement. Ukamoy Talmud hayoy shave lifnei rabbi. Shemizbatel beetzem muhusei mehaflor seichoha. He said, a Talmud that he sits in front of his rab. Yeah, but he becomes completely bottled in his in the very essence of his being from the wondrousness of the cycle of the Rav. Now, wondrousness means withdrawn. The word hafloa in Lush and Kurdish means separate and withdrawn. In other words, he, not only uh, does he hear the wondrousness, but he hears how elevated and withdrawn from from his cycle is the cycle of the Rav. At the actual time that the Rav is giving forth the Ashpur, there are two, as it were, uh, uh, subjects or inyonim, but again to that bitl. Ho'alev, bitl ha'kelim, ve'achushim shaloi, she'ie rak kli le'kabola. The first one is that he's got to be mavatil, all of his, uh, what you might call, um, methodical koiches and gifts with the Avish that has given him to understand Seichel, according to who he is. And that's what he said, his kalim, his ability to take oil, his, you know, what his mind and his, his uh, other koiches, Seichel, are able to receive light. Chushim, as we already pointed out before, Chushim is a much more delicate Indian, and that's what you call the senses. And the, yeah, we say that a person has got a, 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 a smaller type of ability in a certain thing, then we say that's a Chush. Um, for example, somebody can reveal, quite surprisingly, a, a, a touch for uh, Nagina, you know, for Nagunium, and for... Uh, for, without having been taught music, and all of a sudden he'll, he'll sing in English very beautifully, and he'll remember Nigunim, and he'll hop them, and he'll hear Tnua, you know, a movement from a certain Nigun, and he'll say, Oh, yes, that's this, this Nigun. That's called a Chush. That's called a Chush in Nagina. They call it a sensitivity, a, a leaning, and a, an ability for Nagina. And that's called a Chush. It's higher than a Koyach. It's like a, a, a gift and a sensitivity of the Nefesh. Sometimes you'll say a person has a chush in a scholar. Uh, in other words, that he'll be very brilliant in producing an idea. And if you'll hear, uh, you know, a discussion of a certain matter, oh, boom, Peter, he'll say, oh, yes, wouldn't that suggest kak for kak? In other words, he'll bring some, like, new nuance or maybe even a new idea that came out of that idea. Well, that's called a, a chush in a scholar. And some people have what's called a chush 
more in Havona. What Havona means, they can't only really come up with a new idea, but if they hear yeah, from somebody uh, a new idea, then they'll be able to explain it very well. In other words, they've got a hush in analyzing and, and uh, more like in the aspect of Bina. It's more like, but in Bina Gufa, they've got the Kweha Bina, and they've got the capable Kweha Bina. But they have what's called a hush, an ability to hear an idea and then uh, start explaining it, and then their Kweha Bina will develop on that Gufa. And other people you can talk to, <laughs> how does the old expression in Yiddish I say, you can read in some lump, you know, you can talk to the lamp, and you don't always get, you know, somebody that really picks up the idea. You know, he sort of, after, you know, he has to t- have quite a bit of, uh, you know, work on himself and assistance from the from the Choyzerim and from different things, and then he'll be able to sort of pick up the idea. So there was a deliver, I told me that he sits in front of a Rav, he's got to take both his Kalim uh, and his Chushim, even those leanings and gifts that he has, he's got to be Mavatlov. I, if he's my vassal there, then I find this, what's he going to live, I mean, what's he going to do? So the Rebbe said, oh yeah, all he's got to do is to be rach kli le kabor. Now he makes it even more extreme. V'hainu shaloi ishtamesh peklei haseichu shaloi ba'eis ha'ashpur lahasi ko'inian ulahavinoi li atzmai. Now, Bashas, you're actually hearing the mind of an Rebbe. <laughs> That's what I said that this is all about. You shouldn't be working to understand it and analyze it in your mind. Oh, yo, you have to make yourself only just a clear le kabel. But if I'm not using not my saving, not my pushing, then what am I being macabre? So he's going to correct that for us in another line or two. But what you've got to do is you've got to make yourself like a how do you call it? Uh, a clear bilvat. Only to be Makabul, the Ashpur from the Ra. Not that you're working on the Ashpur of the cloud. You're just a, like a, a you know, how do you call it, a, um, a, a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Your whole in is just a draw in, yeah, that's all. Yeah. <clears throat> and he said, therefore, he should not use his Kalim during the actual Ashpur to understand and to bring it into understanding. Kiim. Kli siklo, clay siklo, ye you oz rakalim the kabel es er haseko hanish paloi. Only to just listen and receive, only to as it were take in. Now, this is based on the famous Maimon Chazal, which you guys are learning, uh, uh, your day, or familiar with it, that I did the Tori, Lamivlat, Lamivla loi. Leipolit, that something which is being bolea, it doesn't, it, it doesn't at the same time it's being bolea, it doesn't give out. Yeah. Only when it finishes being bolea, then it gives out. Or, Malachat Kilo wasn't bolea, it's just uh, giving out. And the other way also implies that. I read the Torah, Lemiru Leipolit, and I read the Torah, Lifloit, Leipola. If it's already started giving out, then it, it's very difficult for it to be mm-hmm. macabre. So anyway, says the Rebbe, uh, I, he's holding his only kabel, and he's not to be using his mind then to really understand. I was at the Rebbe, he's just sitting there like a, 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 an instrument, he's just receiving what is happening, where does he have the highest, where does he have the wherewithal to really appreciate what's being said to him. And therefore he says, Vasoga Vaharecht Kite Shabesh Hashpur Hariza Bo Baturk Mamaila. Recht kite in Yiddish means the rightness of it. How do you call it the uh how do you call it the uh, uh, R I G H T the it doesn't mean correctness, but the you know, right. Huh? Yeah. The right sharp. Yeah, you know, like the it makes tremendous um, sense, you know what I mean, it seems that this is really the right way, you know, that's called rest kind. Um, I mean, it's a very hard word to get, it's like a combination between truth and straight and clear advice, a clear way, all those things are called kite again. So the Rebbe says it does happen, that if he makes himself bottle completely, he does feel, Bishasmaisa, that he's gaining something. Yeah, but he's not working to understand anything. He just made himself a clear, only to just receive. 
just received the oasis of the, of the Ashpur. However, when he's listening and those oasis of those Ashpurs are entering him, then he says he does feel a certain grasp of what's being said. I ah, said he just was mavatal his, his clay hasoga. And he said not only does he feel a certain hasoga, but he also feels a tremendous you know, this is this is just so true. This is so you know, guiding. And this is so you know upright and, and wondrous. You know, meaning that it's just so correct and, and full of emmas to the extreme. That that feeling takes him over. Bishas Meiser. I mean, if you ever hear a sikh of a deliver, even on a tape, you can sort of hop it a bit. You can't hop it uh, the emmas. Because you have to be there. That, that's what we're going to see in the, in the Moscone here. You have to actually be there, Bishas Meiser. Or when the Rebbe sits on it, it just made such unbelievable sense, you know, that this is the way. You know, it just became so clear. I remember you hear a sikh of the Rebbe about anything, and you can say, well, you know, how is it that we can understand otherwise? And this is so, it's almost like obvious, you know what I mean? It's so powerful. So there was a derivative that's called Rechtkeit, and he said that does happen to the one who's listening, but he said, That happens on its own. Not that you try to understand anything. You make yourself only a clear to receive. The Abish to help, and the, and the greatness of the Rav, have the ability, both like a, a combination of, of Chesed Hashem and the greatness of the Rav, and that combines that that will help you to. Understand and appreciate this rest kite yeah, during the fact, even though it's not you. you. You are not working to understand, but Hashem will make it that you do understand. Yeah. But then you understand in a different way. You, as it were, understanding in a way that's not your normal way of understanding. And we'll see that later you can maybe spend time trying to understand what you heard, but then it will be different. And I mean that that understanding and that rest kite that go at the moment you hear from the Rav, well, that comes in its own. In other words, where does it come from? We have to say it comes from the unbelievable greatness of the Rav and his uh, tremendous connection with the truth and the fact that the Abish uh, you know, is helping everybody here. Well, that makes it, it becomes like an automatic factor that he will know what this thing is about. Because otherwise, he might just it would be like a goylem. And then, so we have to say that he does appreciate what Indian is about, and he appreciates the immense truth and guidance in that matter. That does yeah happen. But not that he doesn't. He's just a clear Kabbalah. He's just made himself clear just to absorb uh, the oasis of the Rav, and Bashas Maisi begins to get this tremendous idea of what's going on. Well, that's Maila, that's not him. That's from the yeah, from the Shatti Dishmaya of the matter. Amazing principle, eh? <laughs> Unbelievable. Or anybody who heard a Maya from the river begins to, it's, for, it's much easier for you to understand what he's saying. That happens, but who Yeshishalila, but you might say, well, <laughs> He's not even there, as it were. No, he said, that's only a bit of his yeshes. The Bashar, what's the right? Yeah? How do we, how can we see that all this is only bit of our yeshes? He said, the Bashar ain't a makabu miyarav. Let's say, yeah, that he's already gone away from, uh, some Tony, let's say he's already gone away, and he's now, uh, you know, in a group with the other Siddim, or he's in, in a shtibble, or he's in his own private room, and he's learning the matter over, and he's going over. What you might do, he's doing Chazorah. So he said to Bashas, Sha'eno, uh, I keep losing the play. Yeah, Sha'eno Makabu Me'arav, the Chuisha Vesa Seichel Harav Li'atzmei, yeah, Li'atzmei doesn't mean only to himself, but, you know, between others. Hari hu masig oz, yeah, I'm sorry, masig eso inyan, the clay sikloi mishtamshim oz. And then his own kalim of his own seiko are beginning to come into usage, mishtamshim. They're beginning to function. Ahovin ho inyan li atzmoi, 
to understand it in a normal way to himself, and it should be what they call opulate. In Yiddish, it should be carefully, uh, you know, how do you call it, uh, settled in his mind. Okay, governor, shuhu oz, bukhinas yesh dea, so good. He said at that time, when he's not hearing from the Ra, and he's understanding it himself, he said it's another Indian altogether. It's not uh, Indian Bader Mamela, the Asoga, no, the Asoga is the Yesh of Asoga, meaning that we've gone back to the way the Koyches are in their normal function. In other words, that Asoga is a Yesh. And so therefore, what he's done, Bashasi was hearing it from the Rav, he didn't have any Asoga of his own, and it all came Bader Mamela, and that's a, a Zgula, how do you call it? It's like a, a elixir which just happens on a time. Once he's gone away from the Rav and he's working on it, as you might say, then he's gone back into his normal <coughs> koikos, and then Hasoga is a yesh. Remember, he's come back into a, a yesh. So we see that if he was completely and utterly bottled by Etamama, who was Meiser, then he couldn't just move from that back into his normal self and just be a yesh, a Hasoga. It's a sign that even when he heard in this wondrous way, when he was taking pot, and it was all working just in the form of a zgula that he was understanding and appreciating. So, of course, that's also only a bit la. Yeah. So that when he moves back to understand it and he's all right, he's moved back into uh, a, a thing which was anyway close and be'era. Dahin, his own yesh of a song. I'm sorry, Ubeis Ashpur, Harim is battle, me calls Ela Gamre. But he said, at the time of the Ashpur, all of this, which we just described of his own work on his own self and his own Yeshtas, okay, he became bottled from all of that, Le Gamre. Ubeilu ain't a bar seiko, yeah, vas okay. Wow. And he lost all of that, as if he were not a possessor of seiko and a soga at at all, because we said he was mavatl all of his own kalim, and he put them all completely aside. So here we see that that looks as if he did have ever so little. Yeah, now he adds to that even more. He said, Vagam bar seichel godel. Let's say somebody who is a big possessor of seichel, you know, a big mind. Harihu kakoton bini in asoge. He said, Lagavi dini in asoge. Yeah, Lagavi the love, he's only a a cotton, no matter how big a mind he is. So what the Rebbe means is that love Davke, that he's a you know a big balasoga in what the Rebbe teaches. Yeah. It could be he's a big balasoga in other Indian but not in that particular Indian. You know. uh, uh, but however it shouldn't be. It, like Gabi, these Indian which are coming from the Rav, then he's like a a, a small balasoga. He's, he's a soga is very uh, small. He said, Rak, Kashiyesh lo yachush, lo haniya kli sikloi, between his hanokas, at musay, who yose kli le kabona. He said, however, he has a mila. The fact that he is be'emus a baal seichu godl means that he's got koiches to understand and to be given understanding on a high level, because he's a baal seichu godl. He said, just that we would say that like Gavi, the, the Rav, he's a cotton of a BMS, he's a management, as they say in Yiddish, Kishrenas, you know, he's got Grace of Kishrenas. And over the Rav, he's got a mile to him that if he will be poiled by himself, an Ochasatz Musi, he will be poiled that he's able to put himself aside. This is a famous Russian which occurs in many of the Jerusalem of the Rebbe Nishma Satan and the Friedrich Rebbe, Hanochas Atzmuse, how do you call putting of the whole self uh, aside? That's a very high form of bitla, yes, you know, putting yourself completely aside. If this big Barsego can manage that, then who is a Kli Lekabola? He's going to be even bigger Kli Lekabola because his mind is a, how do you call it, a very worked out mind. He's a Barsego Godel. In other words, he's got a yeah, big kalim and big chushim. And therefore, if he's mavatl them, then they stand in his uh, in his right. How do you call it? Because he's got uh, big abilities. And that was at the Rebbe. If he can be bring himself to an office such then he's going to uh, he's going to be a bigger kli kabola than an ordinary person. So he said, we see from that, yeah. That it's important, Bashas Maisa, that there be the state of uh, bitl in a way that you're not what you really are. In other words, you put aside your own seichel, you put aside everything, so that even if you're a godly, you're made out as if you, 
You don't have yeah, anything. And that's necessary yeah, to be makabul, the hashpoya even amiti. And then when you're on your own, then you come back into your... Yeah, and he said that you won't come back to what you really are. The honey is still a stickle yet. So it's interesting that we see that immediately after he said he comes back to the Eshvah Soga, he says of him when he was being Makabil, he didn't really have his own Soga Bechlau. So nonetheless, we see how idle this whole idea of Bittl Ayesh really is in Chilas. Because what, the Rebbe just said that because he, he's anyway still a yesh, even with all this bit of his own chushim, he, yeah, he, he's makabu in a raven from Siata de Shmaya and Tzagula. When he's on his own, he goes back to being a yesh. Well, that's a sign that the whole thing anyway was anyway shy as to a yesh. And now he Kira repeats it, and he says, but it, the way you receive depends on your koiches. That's of course of, if you are a big bal koiches, even though you're mavatlam, but nonetheless you'll be more clearer. Ashpoa aliyadei say. I said, and that's the the the, the uh, equation that we made with this big how about us? Okay, he said, Vasoge he bederav mamela kanal. He said that a soge comes in its own because he's been mavatel himself beforehand. He's been he's made hanochas hasmus el gamre. So what is he being masi? Not only oh yes he is he's being masi bederav mamela. So he said, Bitlayesh Pilvad. Vabitl hu el ashpoe levad. In other words, you've got to be there. If you're there and you hear, you hear from the Rebbe, you hear from the Rebbe, then you're able to come with a bitl there. And then this mamela formula works. If you hear from other people, you know, you just read or whatever, then you'll be like the, the one who was uh, already not there anymore, Bishas Yashpoya, and he's working on his own. Then he's only a Yeshtaha Soka. With all the mailers and all the wondrous Soka, so he's a Yeshtaha Taha Soka. I have become the sign. Bishas is there, Bishas Yashpoya. Uh, it all happens in my mailer. Yeah, that's more than just Bitla Yesh. So the Rebbe says, no, I'm sorry, that's only Bitla Yesh. All of that is only called Bitla Yesh. <laughs> Bitla Yesh. Fun. And we're going to see because soft kosher. What are we talking about here? Even with all this rest kind and this wondrous guidance he hears and all things, and even with all this bit of his own chushim and everything, soft kosher. What's he bottled to? He's bottled to how he is receiving from the the rav. In other words, he's not bottled to the etzim harav. He's bottled to how the rav is giving him. And in order to do that, one of the necessities is to be bottled. In other words, there's a certain, what you might call, motivation in that people. There's a certain almost self-interest in that people, because the fee, how much he's mavatal, he's on, so the Avisha will help him. It doesn't come from him. Uh, it's a shiata dishmaya, but it's a shiata dishmaya, the fee, what he wants to be macabre. I know, he wants to understand, you know, he wants to know. And he wants to know from the, the Rebbe who could be better than to know from the Rav. And that's why, soft or soft, says the Rebbe, that's all beetle uh, 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 do it. And therefore, in a way, you need to be there with Shastiyash Pur. Because if you don't have the, the, the Rav present, you're not present with the Rav, then you don't have that Siata uh, Deshmaya and that Bader Mamela with the whole Indian. Now, says the Rebbe, there's a, a deeper type of beetle. It is a beetle to the Etzma Rav. It's just this bottle only to the to the hasoge which will come to you and what you will gain. But there's a much higher form of it. Vabes, who should his bottle etzimarav mitada flor shalom? He said he becomes bottle to the etzimarav, to the very essence of the rav, mitada flor shaloi, mitada aflor of the rav himself. Not the asoga with the rav is going to give him, but he becomes a, a bottil to the wonders of the rav. How it is in the rav's terms? Not in how eventually he, he will get something from the greatness of the rav, but he's bottled to the etzim aflor sheloi, meaning the, the aflor of the of the rav. Vainu, ma'ashe ba'eish ashpor, mei gam etzim seichu ha. So what happens is the Bishas Rashpur there's a much higher thing going on which is not noticeable to the ordinary observer. And there's certain observers who just don't tune into that. And they don't really get that or sense it. 
Because in order to do that, you've got to give yourself away entirely. You've got to be absolutely potel. And that is the, the etzim way that the Rav himself really knows this Indian is re- actually being mayor and coming out in a way, but he's being metamtum himself to talk to the, uh, the Talmud in a way that will be lafia asogashuei. <laughs> yeah. In other words, it is a oyer achmi that the etzimarav is being made uh, in, in an unnoticeable way, as it were. But Shas is actually coming down and giving over. So now we get a good idea why we called that previous bittel on the bittel chitonius lefiera, because it's only according what the rav is metamtzim for your sake. Over here we're talking that he's got a sense to under to, to not to understand, but to be aware of this unbelievable highness of the Rav, which is being maya in what he's giving. And once he claps that, so then he becomes bottle uh Lagama. So he says, Bahainu Maya Gam etzim Sahel Harav Shainu Mash Pia Klala Tabu Kidua the Bukhou Indian sickly, Yeshkemoisha Seiku Aitala Rav be etya. It's by the Rav in his very essence, Sha'enu Ba'erach HaMakabel Klau. It's completely and utterly beyond the, the value judgment or the measurement judgment of the Makabel. Well, Agabi Bechino Madrege Zu, Eno Teifus Mokim Klau Seichel HaMakabel. And he said, like every day, that level, the way the Rav himself really knows that Indian, he said, your whole Seichel has absolutely no... No status. It has no place. It's just like as if it weren't there. Ukeloi choshiv mamish. Not even, even more than being not tefus makom. It's just not reckoned at all. It has absolutely no material. In other words, tefus, loi tefus makom is like people of, uh, uh, of a certain quality. Of Ukeloi uh, choshiv means it's spot of material. It's just, kilo, it's not there. Aseiko achmi azeh. Right? He can't possibly be mashpira to the makabu because the makabu would just be his bowel bully. He wouldn't know what the heck is going on. So he can't give that to the makabu. And this is the famous beer which is bought in many places in Susan, Salman Khalaf Parikas. And other places with the Rebbe's mouth, but it is, uh, do, it is uh, like a doom to the symptom of Harishay. The, 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 the Rav has got the Indian how it is, Maya Mamish Liatsme. And that's so much uh, in a rock that it's not Shai Klal that should be given to the, to the Makabil. So the only way he can give that is not just to tone it down a bit, because even if he does, it's still the way he's got it. First of all, he has to be malim his whole sake within himself. The ill that he stopped thinking about thing, that thing altogether. Kill that he's not massing anymore on that end. He stops altogether and makes like a, that he called a mohan panui, almost like a, a vacuum within himself. And that helps him and that assists him uh, that he causes a hamtsur, chadosha, in his mind, which is already a makor, for Hashpur el And that's a dogma of the Tzimtzum Arishan. The Tzimtzum Arishan was complete. A vacuum like a helem, and then there appeared a new mocker altogether, which was a mocker for the Ur Hamamali, so called. Yeah. the same thing here. First of all, the Mashiach has to be completely mild in himself, <coughs> and that helps him, and that gives him the possibility to be Mamsi, a whole new level in the Asana, which will eventually go over to the Makabu, but even that will have further tzimtzumim, but it's all already be'erech in a way that it should reach the makam. And that's what he calls chitanius aseichel. That's called all, that's got the general name of chitanius aseichel. And in order to get to that, he had to be ma'alim oel sikhloi bi'atzmei. That's the tzimtzum. Yeah, that's the moshe of the tzimtzum, Arishim. Achsa the Rebbe, hine yadua, called tzimtzum hu rak legabi ha'makabil well, this is a famous principle, the famous formula of the Alt Rebbe, that the Tzimtzumim never happened. You know, the famous Indian with the Tzimtzum Arishin, Gamuvu, and Tanya, and Prekov, and Kofalev, and all the Inyanim. The famous dogma of the Alt Rebbe, where he got himself into a lot of arguments with the Mishnagdim and even trouble and all that. But the Alt Rebbe said that the Tzimtzum doesn't really happen. It does, but it doesn't. So, I mean, how can you have both? So it happens, Lagabi the Makabil, of Lagabi the Mashpia, it doesn't happen. 
In other words, the Eivishter sees the Tim Tumim, yeah, and he sees uh, how it's going to the Makabal, but he sees in that, that his whole own presence at the same time. In other words, the Eivishter remains what he is, he just makes it like giving you a certain system that you'll be Makabal. Same with an Emissarab. An Emissarab yeah, is Malim, particularly meaning that he takes away Ki'ilu, that there wasn't any Seichel anymore, and then it begins a whole new state of going down towards the Makabu. Well, that's exactly Baduk Mahar Islamayl. But when he's giving over now to the Makabu, he sees in that all of the Aimaka Seichel, how he has it. He doesn't see that as a new Indian that he can't have any more Shaykhs with it. On the contrary, that is all just the Gavi de Makabu, or not the Gavi him. The fact that he was Malim, oil sickly, doesn't stop him thinking about his own. Uh, presence in the matter and his own understanding. It, the whole Malim was only the Gabi what he has to give forth for the Makabal, which means the Bashasi giving over to the Makabal, Makif Alze is really made the whole Pnimis as Egal out is by him. So Kumta is that Bashasi is giving over to the Makabal, the limited Seiko, is being made by even Nelam, uh, the whole Mitis as Egal is by because every symptom is only Gabi Makablim, not the Gabi Mashpiyam. However, come to Islafis here, says the Rebbe, that every symptom is only Rach the Gabi Hamakabu, the Loy the Gabi Hamashpiyam. Ula Zoish, and therefore, Ula Zoish, Echel Hamashpiyam, Meyer, Oyer, Sikloi, Hoatzmi, Gamli, Acha, Hatzimtum, Biahelem. Even after he's made that symptom, he's made that helem, he still is aware of his own understanding in the matter. He hasn't really put it away. He's only put it away for the sake of the ash, of the ashpur. Vazel sibus ribui ha oyer va chayis she yes pashua a pashpur mipne a oyer a penimi shemeyabo. There's a pillar to his act. The river says, the people say, come to if the Rav is working here in the form of a tzimtzum and he's put everything away, then what he's giving you is only what you call it's ain't a right to leftovers. So the he doesn't have any weekend the Rav open the, 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 uh, he might be doing it for Kabbalah Sayyid and he might know that that's a Kavana and that that's what he should do. Of al you know, he doesn't feel in that any any big highest he's taking the whole thing away from himself and he's giving away uh, about that and also the macabrium all they're getting is a uh, they're not really getting that's not really the rab that's only that something's coming to them and they don't they wouldn't have a tremendous uh, highest in that any more than if they heard it from an ordinary balsay who was on their level and he was just doing the matayva to try and explain to it the way he, the way he understands it you follow? So you might say, what's enough in there if I heard that from a, a chaver in the, a, a good chaver in the yeshiva, or if I heard it b'shas b'shas from the my enough came in there. But nonetheless, we see the b'shas, the, the, the b'shas, the mashpia gives it over, yeah, the b'shas, the, the, the rab gives over the, uh, the, the ashpur, there's this tremendous chayas by everybody. The first of all, the rab feels a tremendous Highest and tremendous uh, fulfillment in giving his Talmudium. But that, we can't really understand that, but that's what happens. And all the Sidim Kochans and the old stupids up to here, and there's this tremendous Bren, Bishas Meiser, and the Tutsach and Skoft and Harum. People are, are living with the Hashpur and are even from Levitikai, Shalev, and Derecha, Ateva, the cloud. So the Rebbe said, Where does that highest come from? The way we just described it, you should be able to be recovered that from anybody. Why? What's the big deal? The Rebbe was Matumtum, and he gives you a Dover Matumtum. So therefore, the Rebbe said, Fabu was, because at the moment that he's giving over you that Dover Matumtum, the whole Uyahad is really by him as being Maya Behelim in the, in the Zah. Is even you're not recovered that, but if you're, if you're given over and you're bought till, yeah, then you can sense that and you can feel that tremendous uh, uh, depth and profundity of the Indian going over to you and that makes you uh, levity and that gives a tremendous highest power because well, that's a divine matter which is happening and not the stump so uh, <laughs> 
is rav bo inyan har be yesa ba ina reich me kafisha khoisha o imadabo ho inyan li atmoi amamire he says that uh, it, it, he has a tremendous highest in the time that he's hearing it from the Rebbe, much more and incomparably more than compared to how he thinks about it when he's on his own. So all of a sudden when he goes back to his, uh, you know, his chaverim and he thinks about the money, he tries to bring it up again and get it working, he doesn't feel that highest the way he did Bashasi was hearing it from the from the rab, the need Malloy, and he thinks, hey, Gavad, there's something wrong with me. You know, when I heard this, was probably caught it, and I was in some amazing highest. And now when I come back, I don't seem to be much clear in the whole thing. I can talk about it, but I don't seem to feel the same unbelievable brain. And therefore, need Malloy, la hamikabel, shizel and neisha chosel le dover be ashpur. And maybe he's lacking something in the whole Ashpur. I think there was some meaning that he lost altogether. And that, since that's a key matter, therefore he doesn't feel the whole thing. So the Rebbe says, That is not true. He said, Rach, the Yeshe Nidal Ashpur, Mia Mashpia, Ainu Mebo Hoatmi. He said, Since it's already Nibdal, Mia Mashpia. It went out into the world and becomes Ashpoy in the world. And it's not connected with the Mashpi. You're not hearing it directly from the Rav anymore. Yeah, therefore, he said, it's lacking that. Oh, you're at me that it had Bashas. Yeah, Bashas, my sir. Volochen, Kashem, Mamik Poinian. When he was spent a lot of time deepening his mind in the matter. The Koima Daite de Rabbi. And he will come to understand really the genuine. Yeah, shit, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, das of his Rav. What well, is what the Gemara says in Aveda Zora. It takes 40 years, but here the Rabbi doesn't seem to worry so much about the 40 years part of it. Yeah, Adar Boim Shnin, Bikoim Minusha, died to the Rabbi. I hear it's much more that, uh, you know, if you just work hard at it, then you can really understand the das of the Rav. Dai to the Rabbi, Lohovin Uimeku Pnimius Hako. In other words, that if you go back and you work on it tremendously hard and you deepen yourself and you try to get into the Emir Emesa Kavana. In other words, that the Rebbe says, and this is very common in the works of the Rebbe Rasha, well, that unbelievable profundity and that unbelievable depth which is hidden in the Hashpur, which causes all the highest, what is that really? That is the Kavana. That's what he really means. And what does he really want with all this? Yeah, what does he aim to want? And therefore, what does he want? Well, that's what's hidden in all this. And that's a tremendous profundity to really know what did he really mean. Oh, well, that's tremendously profound. And I mean, that causes our, uh, our, those who are sitting there, and they get it directly from him. That's being mayor, uh, alayim, I feel that they're not masking it. But well, that causes a tremendous the highest. In other words, when you're in the presence of the Emma's, the Kavana of the Indian, and the Amitis uh, uh, Indian, how it is, the Emma's, but that Kavana of the Indian, and you have Chayas, you cough it. Because you, you, and he said, when you just do it on your own, and you don't feel that type of Chayas, so you say, well, maybe I'm lacking something, you know, maybe I didn't hear right, maybe I, did, I wasn't bottled that way. Or so the Rebbe said, no, that's not the case. The, because the, you're not there by the Rebbe anymore, that's why it is. But he said, if you work really hard, then you can eventually come back to being as if you got it from the Rav, and then you have it in a very firm and definite way. It's an amazing formula, an amazing statement of what it means to hear Inyonin directly from the Rebbe. Yeah, to hear the Inyonin, how they came from the Rebbe, to be there with Chas Meiser, how important that yeah, that really is, because then you connect up with the Etzim Rav, and that is Meir, or Bir Pramakiv, but that gives a tremendous highest and a tremendous brain and sense yeah, of what you might call the divine yeah, so I on a much lower level there's also a Hasoga you also get some idea of what it's all about and you even get a certain appreciation of it <coughs> and that happens with Dharma Mamea that comes also in a divine way oh, but this is a much higher Indian and he said if you have that Indian then maybe Harum is battle but then he becomes bottle and he's very mahus. Shana se kaim vo efes u kaloi chashive mamish believe of his bit layes lavod. And he said, What is that? How does that happen? He said, Shazo mitada oero alien amuf 
Ashra U Mudal Mimenu. Aye, that's what we discovered before. That's the Etzim Rav, which is Mudu Mufla Yer Mimenu. And he said, it's Meya Olov. Yeah, it's Makiv. Shashom, he said, who be Emes Kaloi? That he said over there, like Gabi that, oh yeah. Yeah, he said, Bermes Mamish Kaloi. He has absolutely no, yeah, but yeah. So now the Rebbe puts in brackets and we'll deal with this in the coming year. Uh, the Rebbe says that that's come out to a funny article which I'm aware in different Drushim. Yeah, but again, later on we're going to compare that back, back directly to the Yesh, uh, the iron of the Yesh Amidi and the iron of the Yesh Amidi. So we'll deal with those uh, inyonim and the warim and those sources in the coming Beis uh, Hashem uh, episode. Beis um, uh, Hashem is Beis Hashem is Bore. So here's the most amazing statement of what it was like and how it's supposed to be. The Shasya here, Maimah from the from the Rebbe or Sicha from the Rebbe. It's totally true when you when you've been by there and you and you were macabre. And it, uh, it always used to amaze me the same thing <laughs> that later on when you spoke about these you know, you know it, it was sort of different you know, it wasn't this unbelievable conviction and sort of that you had I remember once I was I had a friend bringing by the river that I was spoke about certain Ionium of you know, bringing out a cushion to the world you know, was, when the whole thing was finished and the river left I felt like running out into into some somebody and shouting to the world you know, <laughs> I felt this to really got to get out and do something. We're going to shray and be Megala to, you know, to all human beings, this unbelievable message. And yeah, I just, uh, I was completely beside myself altogether. I know it was because you, when you heard from the Rebbe, it was like it was this amazing oil. And the world was already ready, you know, was, everything was ready. All you had to do was just tell people, you know. And that's what, you, there were certain times when the Rebbe spoke about Mashiach. And, and the Rebbe said that Mashiach is door, yeah, you know, that everything is ready, and you, and you mummies, you could feel it, you know, you could mummies feel it, that was in effect the case, and the trouble is, that later when you went away from the Rebbe, then you became a bit more Barabatis, you know, and then you get, like you said, you fall back into the, just, uh, so good all that, and, 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 and then you begin to, you know, become a little sort of back into the, to the world a bit, and you come a bit shaken, the whole Kunz was to take that Recht kind of that unbelievable, even more than that, to take this amazing Kuyo Maki and keep that and live with it. So <coughs> Eshleim, the Emma's Sitsidim are those who managed to live with that the whole time. They managed to be that way. And that's what the, that's what the Rebbe said on many occasions, that he wants we should live with Moshiach. Well, it takes to live with Moshiach, not just hear about Moshiach, not just to be convinced that Moshiach has to come, not just be convinced that the only solution to everything is Moshiach, all those sort of things, that's tremendous, it's good, it's wonderful, but you've got to be in it, you know, you've got to be in Moshiach, you've got to be there, it's happening. But it's also, I was talking with somebody, and he told me something very uh, good, a lot of these uh, modern psychologists are persuading people that they should feel good, you know, that they persuade them that the Mila of everything are not the Chassan. And they tell them that, you know, that if you want to be rich, you've got to consider yourself rich. And then you know, Hashem will help you to be rich. So, Purist, let's say that you, you've only got 200 shekels. That's all you got. So you say, wake up, well, if I got 200 shekels, you know, I'm not sure. I'm a scary young man. I'm a only be so I talked about. I got two hundred shekels. What am I going to do? And then, then they, they claim there's another way you can look at it. You say, Me? I got two hundred shekels. You know? Just imagine what you can do with two hundred shekels. First, you can give twenty shekels to the stock. And then you can buy this for, for fifty shekels. Then you can do this, you can do that. <coughs> you, can, I, 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 you can just care the whole world. 200 shekels, <laughs> just unbelievable, you know, I'm Mamisha, a Gvira, I got 200 shekels, <laughs> that's different, different ways of looking at it, and that's what the Rebbe wants, like every Moshiach, no, no, we have to have Moshiach, wouldn't it be great if we had Moshiach, oh, I wish Moshiach was coming already, oh, oh, no, Nishta, the Rebbe wanted it, and you can, now when you think back, it's so true, the Rebbe wanted to say, we got Moshiach, you know, Moshiach is almost, it's Mamish here, you know, we're living in Moshiach already, we're Shrein, yeah, you hear Moshiach, that's the way the Rebbe wanted to live with Moshiach, and then you live with Moshiach.
Yeah, we say, oh, it would be really wonderful. We should have Moshe. We really need Moshe. It's very essential. But also, Peter Zevi Demetri, he says, I got 200 shekels. <laughs> I thought it was very amazing. I was very uh, taken with that Moshe. I have a cow, Malamba, and Shalti. You have to learn from everybody. I thought it was very uh, to the point. He said, well, guys, we're going to live it. We've got Mashiach, we've got the Rebbe, got him. We had the Rebbe, and Zia, Susi, you're going to lay no, you know, we got him. <laughs> we've got Mashiach, we've got all the good things. We're not for Shlofen, are we?